All right, class, this is example two. Uh, example two, I'm going to read it for you. This is on page 431. Please follow along in your book. So pause and uh, go open up your book. Manufacturer claims that the main operating cost per mile of its sedans is less than that of its leading competitor. So right there, it tells us what the HA is, that uh, X1 is less than X2. Uh, that'd be our claim. All right, so pulling up our... Uh, whoops. So our claim is that... I'll get it figured out here. Here we go. Our claim is, well, HO is going to equal um, mu, no, X1 is greater than or equal to X2. Um, hold on. Mu1 greater than or equal to mu2. And HA, um, mu1 is less than mu2. And this is what we uh, believe is our claim. Okay, so there's there's the data. Um, you can look at the uh, the little chart to the left, and I'll go ahead and start filling that in. So we go to uh, whoops, go to stats, test, two sample uh, Z T test, and again we just go right down the data. So X one is 0.52, um, S one is 0.05. N1 is 30, uh, X2 is 0.55, S2 is 0 0.07, and 32. So um, just to clear some things up, because I see students doing some different things all the time, this is, to, this is used to find the test statistic. So anytime you want to find a test statistic, you use you can use your calculator. I know some there. know there's formulas involved, and some of you use the online help when you're online. You're trying to figure out the test statistic, but it's it's just your. They don't know that you have a TI-84. They'd be telling you to use this. They're just showing you a formula that also works, but it can get complicated, and it's almost like uh, there's there's two different things going on. But this is used to find your test statistic. It's also used to find your p-value. Okay, so we want to choose less than. And for this problem, the last line says, assume the population variances are equal. So we're going to switch cooled to yes. When the variances are equal, you use yes. Okay, go down, hit calculate, and there we go. Here's our p-value of 0 0.02, which is less than our alpha value of alpha in this case is 0 0.05. So we just got a p-value that's uh, less than, at, we're at 0 0.03. Okay, you could also use the critical value, or this would be your test statistic, and you can compare that to your critical value using inverse t, which I'm sure the online is gonna ask you to do. Uh, but in our case, we can just use the p-value. Okay, so we're less than that, so what does that mean? Our claim is here. If we're if our p-value is less than alpha, we reject HO. That means this we believe is incorrect. We don't think that's correct. So we don't think this is correct. Then I, yeah, you know what? We can support the claim. So that's what that's what that is. So we have enough information we believe to support the claim. There is enough evidence at the five percent level of significance to support the manufacturer's claim that the mean operating cost per mile of its sedans is less than that of its competitors.